This has been a highly requested video that I've just put off doing for a really long time purely because I wasn't sure what I wanted to say and I've kind of thought about it a little bit and I have decided that my kind of key points um, would kind of be helpful to some of you so I've decided to do it and I want to talk to you about doing home decor on a budget. Now I was not ever someone who was majorly into home decor, I kind of found it a little bit boring when I was younger but then as soon as we had our own house it became very important and the house we lived in before was an old house um, that needed a lot of work to make it look presentable so we kind of didn't really bother and home decor just got kind of sidetracked and it didn't really matter. But then we moved into this house which is a lovely amazing beautiful house that we're extremely happy with the decor part became more important and we kind of managed to decorate it how we wanted it. It's still not completely finished, there's still things that I want to get and still things that I need to do, um, but it was something that was really important to me to make it look nice and to make it look like us and that's what I like. I like homes to have personality and I like to go in someone's house and be able to kind of tell a lot about them. I kind of feel like a lot of the time when you go into like um, single men's houses for example, the overall effect that you get is just very, it's a house, someone lives in it, it's not very well thought out and I like that, I like being able to tell something about the person, so for example if you come into our house I think you can tell that I like Marilyn Monroe, I've got a lot of kind of Marilyn artwork um, and kind of vintage um, Audrey Hepburn prints and things like that and it's just something that I really like, we kind of tend to go for quite a matching colour scheme as well, I'm always very jealous of those houses and those women who can kind of make a beautiful Moroccan style room where it's all kind of mismatched and gorgeous but I, d I don't have that in me, I'm not creative at all so um, I don't have that in me, my mum can make things look like that where everything just looks amazing and it doesn't match but it somehow matches I can't do that, I can't see past the not matching but that's kind of just my personal taste, I'm like that in fashion as well I can admire how someone else can do it but I need things to kind of match, not too matchy matchy but I need things to kind of have a theme so in this video I'm just going to kind of talk to you and share a couple of little tips that I've found when we were decorating our house. Some of these are really really inexpensive, some are things that are kind of more um, more important because I think it's also very important to know where you're willing to splurge on and where you're willing to save on because I don't think you can do it perfectly if you save on everything. So for example our sofas, um, which you've probably seen in a lot of my videos, um, were very expensive but they were something that we knew were going to be a focal point in the room and we wanted two and we wanted them to be large and it was just something that needed to be done so we did spend quite a lot of money on them. Um, but I love our sofas and they're the easiest sofas to move as well. It's kind of, when when we moved we were like, oh we're going to have to dismantle the sofas and they actually come apart super easily. They're really, really great. If I can remember what they're called and where we got them from because we did get them about two years ago, um, then I will put that in the down bar. But things like that are important to kind of make the effort with and things like art for example the Marilyn Monroe canvas that I have in my living room that you'll have seen in a lot of my videos that was from eBay but that was quite expensive I think it was around £100 but then I've got some kind of cute little silly bits of um, paintings and things like that that I've gotten from places like The Range and TK Maxx and just random little corner shops I find that a lot of um, sort of I don't know what you'd call these type of shops but the shops that tend to sort of have like phone cases and cables and I always wonder if the things in there are legal, like I never go in and buy actual phones and things from there because I find them to always look a little bit dodgy but they do sometimes have like canvases and things and sometimes they can be like one direction canvases, they seem to be extremely popular in all these types of places but they will have kind of nice um, celebrity ones and I wouldn't ever like put you know one of Beyonce up on my wall but things like Audrey Hepburn and Marilyn Monroe and things like that I really would because I really like it. I probably would put Sex and the City one if I saw it as well but um, I think my boyfriend would kick me out if I did that. So that's um, somewhere that you can get like nice little bits. Another thing that you want to kind of make sure that you do is to make sure that um, you really really shop around it's really interesting because when we were decorating our bedroom which I'll insert some footage of later on then um, a lot of the things we were looking at we wanted it to kind of match and we had a set style of wood that we wanted we wanted the bedroom to all be wood because the bed was wood and we didn't want to get rid of the bed um, and we 
really needed to look at how we were going to do it so really try and um put it put it together in a way that it went but if you bought it all from the same company it was really 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 expensive so we bought my dresser which i did a kind of makeup collection video with i'll put the link in the down bar we bought my dresser from argos and it wasn't too expensive i think it was around 170 pounds and it's huge and it's amazing it houses all my makeup but um, we bought that from Argos and that was really great. And then the other parts in the bedroom all came from different places. So the dresser was from Argos. The cabinets that I will show you, the kind of little bed, not bedside drawers, but the kind of drawers that we've got in the hollow of the room, not the hollow, but the rooms, the really awkward shaped room. It's got a very sloped ceiling towards the end of the room so you couldn't put wardrobes in there. So we knew we weren't going to be able to store the majority of our clothes in the bedroom. And I've got a lot of clothes. And for a man, my other half has got a lot of clothes as well so we couldn't store those in those so we've made one of the downstairs rooms the wardrobe room and it has a spare bed in it and it's just kind of like storage slash wardrobe room I know it sounds really ridiculous but we just it couldn't fit in the room because of the shape of the room so the drawers were from Ikea and they were ridiculously cheap they were 20 pounds each and we got four of them so that was a really really great bargain because you could have paid it all together with where we got the bed from and it would have all been a ridiculous amount and then the bedside cabinets we got were from amazon and they were 17 pounds each so really really inexpensive we didn't treat the wood or anything because we didn't really feel like we needed to we were going to maybe contemplate painting it white if we um didn't like how it came but it luckily all the wood that turned up was exactly the same color and it matched the bed and it matched the dresser and it looked great and i really like it it's just a very cozy feeling so really watch for things like that because you can find amazing things on ebay and amazon and that kind of thing um, and ikea is really great it's really well priced i haven't been to an ikea in years and years and years because um the one that we have near us is kind of it's not in the middle of nowhere, but it's somewhere that we wouldn't ever normally go, so we'd have to go just to go to Ikea, and we haven't done that yet, but we are going to because they have got a little kind of side table that I really want that I've been eyeing up for ages, and it's really cheap in Ikea, but if you order it, it ends up being loads more expensive, so I'm going to go and buy it from there at some point. But um, yeah, those are kind of some important little pointers. I will insert some footage now of the bedroom. Um, I'm going to just put it out there as well. I know a lot of people have asked me to do a bedroom tour and a house tour and that kind of thing. And I don't think I feel comfortable with that. You know, I don't, it's not just me that lives here. It's my boyfriend's house as well. And I don't know how comfortable he would feel with that. So I don't think it would be really fair. And I don't think I feel very comfortable with it either i don't mind like showing little bits but i wouldn't like to do a kind of complete tour and it's not finished yet either you know like I, there's things that i need to get as well that um we haven't gotten around to doing yet so maybe one day but i don't think so so i'm going to insert the footage of that now and then i will come back and talk to you about kind of little decor so as you can see here these are the ikea little drawers that i mentioned and they were 20 pounds each which is ridiculous and i've got four of them and they were just so easy to put together i can kind of do a bit of diy <laughs> i don't know if you know that about me but like i put our bed together and things like that and they were a really really great option and then the bedside cabinets which you can see here they've got all my stuff on but um these were really really inexpensive as well 17 pounds and from amazon and you can see they match perfectly um and they weren't even from the same place so it just goes to show that you don't need to kind of worry about it too much because a lot of the time they will go anyway you just need to kind of make sure that the wood's the same just time kind of cute little decorations that you can put around your house and just cute little bits and bobs there is a really really great budget option that i like to do and that is visiting your local pound jobs sometimes you can find some great great things in there sometimes you can find nothing that you like but the occasional time you will get something really cute and I got these little lanterns from there I've got two of these and I just put little tea lights in them and they look so pretty I've got them on top of my fireplace and I love them I wish I'd gotten more when they had them and then they never had them again and they're just so cute and so beautiful and they were a pound like you can't even you can't say anything about that because it's just amazing and then this little picture frame was from there as well and I just think it looks really expensive I like the kind of 
um, printed silver and this is my sister when she was dressing up as a ladybird because I thought it was really cute but things like this are great to get from places like that because you could buy them from more expensive shops but you don't need to a lot of the time they are all from the same place anyway and then just cute little things that will help to add a little bit of character are things like this now I'm, I know this isn't going to be everyone's taste but I love this glittery peace sign this was actually a Christmas decoration a couple of years ago I think I got it from home base um, but I really like it I just think it's kind of cute and it goes on my fireplace and it just looks really sweet and I think it was like four pounds or something like that and I just think it's really really cute and then another thing I got from just a random little local um, card shop I think it was was this little sign and it says new shoes cure the blues and this oh it's three pounds 95 and it's from somewhere called G store and this sits over the top um, in our kind of front door area where you come in the door and then there's like a little place where you take your shoes off this goes over the top and I just think it's so cute and it just adds a little bit of character and it's really sweet and then things like this as well my friend got me this from Spain and it's just this cute little lantern and this just sits on the windowsill and it looks so pretty you could um kind of tie it so it was dangling down that'd be really nice as well but I don't do that because I like to be able to close the curtains if I need to but things like that are really inexpensive and they just add a lot of character and a lot of kind of cuteness to your house so that's something that I always like to do but I hope you found this helpful I did want to quickly mention as well that I know I mentioned a while ago about my um, style scan app which I really really like and I have been contacted by them and they wanted me to share the news with you that they are having a contest where you can win $500 worth of a big shopping spree so I'm going to put all the information um, down below for that if you want to go and check that out because it's really cool and if you win I'm very very jealous because put it this way I could really really do with a nice big shopping spree right about now because it's Christmas time and I feel like I've treated everyone else and they want to treat me a little bit. So I'm going to put all the info for that down below and you can go and have a look at it. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you've got any tips or anything like that, then definitely let me know and I will see you in my next video.